Beast Mode is back. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL and here to talk about the latest NFL news in which we are talking about Marshawn Lynch. Yes, that's right. Beast Mode is back with the Seattle Seahawks um, as they lost their two starting running backs in Chris Carson and Rashad Penny due to injuries and managed to sign the aforementioned Marshawn Lynch. So I'm here to talk about this move, okay? The potential impact of it. Will it be enough to help Seattle get to where they're going and the implications behind this move? So with that being said, before I do get started, if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe by hitting the big red subscribe button down below and turning on my post notifications by hitting the bell icon down below. Helps me a lot when you support the channel and follow me on my social media, guys. Links down below. And on the street for my Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff, reach out, ask questions, whatever it is you need, I'm here for you. So with that being said, I don't want to wait any longer. Let's get started. All right, so Marshawn Lynch is back. Everybody's happy that Beast Mode is back in the NFL. I get all of that. But when I want to break it down into this actual move itself and whether or not the Seattle Seahawks got better or not, I have to start by saying this. It definitely is not an upgrade, okay? And here's the thing. No disrespect to Marshawn Lynch, but the last time we saw him, it was with the Oakland Raiders, folks, and he couldn't finish out the season, played six games, and he had to go on IR with a groin injury, okay? And here's the thing. It's not surprising. We're talking about a 33-year-old running back that is past his prime. Now, here's my thing. The Seattle Seahawks making the move for a running back, that was the right decision because Obviously, with Chris Carson going down and even Rashad Penny going down, they needed a running back, okay? And they're not going to go into the postseason with Travis Homer as their starting running back. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. So, absolutely, they needed to make a move for a running back. Now, whether or not Marshawn Lynch is the answer, I'm here to tell you this much. He's not better than Chris Carson for sure at this point. I mean, we just take a look at the numbers Last time we saw Marshawn Lynch, again, the six games, uh, Marshawn Lynch had 90 carries for 376 yards and 4.2 yards per carry, okay? The yard per carry is decent, but the yardage was not there. But then we take a look at this first, like, the year before that one with his, like, full season, 15 games. Uh, he couldn't even get 1,000 rushing yards. 891 rushing yards is what he had compared to that to Chris Carson. This year in 15 games, he had over 1,200 plus your rushing yards. So Chris Carson is the better running back. And that's not to say it's a bad thing because Marshawn Lynch is uh, obviously a much older running back. Now we've seen guys like Adrian Peterson, Frank Gore still have games here and there where they can, you know, obviously, uh, you know, be productive. And that right there is enough reason for the Seattle Seahawks to Maybe hope that this move pays off because if I look at this move as a whole, it's a very high risk, high reward type of move. Okay, look, Marshawn Lynch, if he just has even one good game, it's going to be enough to propel the Seattle Seahawks to advance in the playoffs, right? Because here's the thing uh, Marshawn Lynch is going to be available now for the last game of the regular season, and then the Seattle Seahawks, of course, making the playoffs. So the playoff games following that so you really just need one or two good games for Marshawn Lynch so in that aspect I'm fine with it if this was like for the season like Chris Carson gets hurt around the sixth game of the year I, I'm not a fan of the move at that point because again Marshawn Lynch you have to look at him as somebody that you have to you know pretty much load manage okay perfect example of this is Shady McCoy in Kansas City they literally sit Shady because of the fact that they want to keep him fresh for the playoffs. So to me, when I boil this move down, it's a very high risk, high reward move. I don't hate it. I don't love it. And to me, in terms of Seattle, I don't think this move puts Seattle above where I already had them at. I still think the Saints are a better team. I still think the 49ers are a better team. You know, I still think... There are teams in the NFC, Green Bay, that can and still beat the Seattle Seahawks with or without Marshawn Lynch. So if people thought that Marshawn Lynch is the difference now between, okay, Seattle was maybe the fourth best team 
in the NFC to now they're the best team in the NFC, then I'm not there. I'm just not there. But like I said, I don't fault them for making this move because they needed a running back. But I'm sure you could have gotten somebody a bit younger, somebody that can probably take on a bit of a workload. But hey, Beast Mode is uh, obviously um, something nostalgic for Seattle. And, you know, he loves coming out of retirement. So let's see what happens here. And obviously, we'd love nothing more than to see him actually be able to uh, you know, have a couple of good games here and, and let's see what happens. But uh, I don't fault the Seattle Seahawks for looking for running back help. But as far as how much impact I believe Marshawn Lynch can have at age 33, I am on the side of a bit more skeptical than positive. Okay, that's really where I'm at. Like I said, uh, let me know what you guys think about this move. I don't think it changes much for my outlook for the Seattle Seahawks. But man, does it feel like a great story that's that's what we love right so happy for Marshawn Lynch let's see what happens here uh but uh, to me I'm not taking this move and putting Seattle all the way you know ahead of all the other teams in the NFC that's just how I feel let me know what you guys think leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree as always thanks for watching